Bitcoin, we start with one of our chart. Just I want to give a quick update. First of all, if you refer to what analysis in my last video when the price was within this move exactly, we put our line above this. We mentioned if we want to look for buy, exactly the price was within this move. We mentioned if we want to look for buy, the only way is to have entry above this. Because I mentioned, we mentioned how we can look for this correction. That's why I mentioned right now from what we have, we can put this one as a flat. And we can expect this one turn to it one from the last move in relative to this. Okay, that's why I mentioned buying within this move is not a really good idea. The only way for me, I will put my entry above this in case the price sharply reverse, I can get the trade. If the price drop and break the previous star low, I'm not in the trade. That's why I highlight how we can look for trade and buying within this move is not a really good idea. As we can see the price drop and it broke the previous low. And if you refer to the indicators, we see we have a divergence and as well here okay anyway one thing i need to highlight here what i'm referring to this this is not the rsi even the name is the rsi there is a changes the real rsi is here okay but in analysis we're referring to the macd the and the the one doesn't have the name all right and uh, as i mentioned as of what we expected the price drop and we have this two as a three waves structure and now we want to see whether we can look for the reversal or not. Okay, the only thing is whether the price can retest the previous low or not. Because how we can look at this? Can we put this one as a first wave? And this is the internal flat for one move up. That's why we mentioned if we get any reversal, even the price was within this move. We mentioned we're looking for the reversal. Okay, now we want to see whether we can get the reversal or not. That's why still we can expect the price drop some more. But right now we don't have any trade set up for sale. And whoever get the trade from here, and I know that you need to watch out. Okay. It's still we can we know right now we can see this one as a ABC. But if there is a continuation, may the divergence, especially here, disappear. That's why right now we cannot buy. We have to see the reversal. That means we get the trade set up for buy if we want to look for reversal. But right now, maybe we can put this one as a flat in relative to this. Okay. But what we get here is not really sharp. All right. Now, how we can look for trade? We don't have the trade setup. The best thing is we wait to see what we get here. Because as I mentioned, still we can expect the continuation for price to break the previous low. That's why we move to higher time frame. We want to see what we have based on higher time frame. If we move to daily ch weekly chart, the only thing is since the price, as we can see, drop really sharp. Can I, we expect the price to break this, the lowest price, 28K, which is the lowest price of this correction? Maybe it's better we move to daily chart, it will be more clear, all right? If we refer to the daily chart, if we zoom in, if we put our line here, which is this one, all right? As we can see, if we put our line here, it will be more clear. The price almost dropped to the I mean, the price of the lowest price of the previous correction, which is this one, but it couldn't break. That's why we mentioned we want to see whether the price based on lower time frame can retest this one or not. Because if the retest, if there is a breakout of the lowest price of this correction, we need to be really careful. Okay, now we put our line here. All right, maybe we just put it 28 to be more accurate. I mean, 28. 500. All right. Now, based on daily chart, we don't have any things. Again, if we get a reversal based on lower time frame, we are more really interested to look for reversal. But the only thing is whether the price can break the lowest price of the previous correction or not. Okay. This is one we need to be bear in mind. And if I move to forward chart, how we can look for chart. We cannot look for the divergence or inform. I mean, the indicator since the price haven't re break or retest the previous low. The only thing is, can we put this one in relative to this move, or this two can be internal flat in relative to this? If we want to put this one, look at this as a correction. The only question is, what's this? That's why even this way to look at this is not really good. Then the only thing is, we put this one as a three waves structure based on lower time frame. We want to see whether we can get the reversal or not. But right now, based on even based on forward chart, we don't have any information. Even we don't have any trade setup. We cannot conform with that. 
And if you move to one hour chart, even based on one hour chart, we cannot look for any trade either buy or sell. The best thing is we wait. We see what we get. If there is a continuation, any small flag, we can look for a trade. But this short term trade and it depends on the traders. But if we get any reversal, still we can consider as a good trade if we get in terms of the risk and reward to look for buy. But if still we don't have the confirmation for the reversal. The only question whether the price can retest the previous low. If yes, that's mean the drop price drop, then this is what we're looking for. Then what is my suggestion? We shouldn't look for any trade unless we get a correction or trade setup. And any sell, as long as the price haven't broke the previous low, is short term sell. For long term, as long as the price again haven't break the previous low, we prefer for the buy. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.